Why does ham radio have to be so expensive? <sighs> Wait a minute. It doesn't. Okay, it is still Support Your Parks weekend for Parks on the Air, so we are out here still at the park. And one question that I've had come up from somebody local is, why does radio have to be so expensive? Why do you have to spend so much money on a radio and all your gear and everything? Why does it have to be so, so costly? And I'm actually here to tell you, it doesn't have to be as expensive as you think. So... When I got back into HF, I've been in radio, been on in ham radio since 1993. And when I got back in, I had sticker shock. Pure and simple sticker shock. So one thing that I ran into is with radio, your biggest cost is going to be your radio, obviously. Then your next large cost is going to be your antenna and then if you're going to be going portable and I'm, I'm gearing this mainly for portable use i'm not going to go with home home questions or home home solutions um this is going to be just for portable so when you start looking at various radios you've got expensive radios you've got things like the icom 705 you've got the 891, the FT891 from Yesu, which is going to be my high power radio this year. Um, but then you've got things like the G90, which is going to be a low to mid cost radio. And even those can get a little, little pricey there. You can find them on the used market for four to $450. New, they're probably just a little bit north of that. For some reason, they still seem to hold their value. And... Then people wonder, you know, how about antennas? Well, you can get like a chameleon, which is going to be expensive. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat a chameleon is expensive. They put out a great product, but they are expensive. But then you run into things like the JPC-12, the Pac-12, which is what I have used religiously for the last couple of years. And even those are $100 or more, depending on where you get them. That is an entire radio kit right there. I'm gonna show you guys a budget option for an antenna. That guy, and that guy. These two came as a kit. That is a 17 foot vertical, 5.6 meters, if you wanna go metric, and the spike for the ground. I do have the ground, the counterpoise wires for it too. They are actually in here. So I'm going to get into this guy here. So in this kit, I'm actually using this bag. The bag was 22 bucks, I believe. In here, I've got a VRU RC. <laughs> Flip it over. There we go. VRU RC battery pack. It runs 12 volt PD, which is awesome because that will help with what you'll see coming up in just a second. In here, I also have a DE19, which will give away what I'm going to be pulling out of this bot or out of this bag. Just hold on, you'll see it. Power cable, another power cable. They actually will work with the VRURC. This is actually a separate purchase. They were about $12. Anything else in there that I need? I don't believe so. So let's open this guy up. Also, very lightweight. But I think you guys know what's coming. It's not the it's not the 6100. It's a G106. So the G106, I had one uh, over a year ago. And I did have issues with it. 
I had a lot of issues where it would reboot itself. It would have issues with it's all kinds of different things. And I sent it back. I did not repurchase. But when, there was a sale that came up on them. And I decided to give another shot. I got this for, I believe it was $1.99. There is some tape on the top because I had a little scoop attached to it. Um, I decided to give it another shot. And I haven't regretted it. Um, I've hooked it up to my antenna at home. It seems to do quite well. And so we'll be using it as our budget gear this year. We'll be using it as the QRP radio. Um, you know, just something that's light packable. I want to take all this and toss it in the back of the truck when I go somewhere. If I go up north, I don't want to take the full kit. This is a perfectly packable setup. Ground radials for that guy. They have a little eyelet on the bottom that screws in right on top of the spike. I will be using that in an upcoming video. This comes with the with the microphone. One thing that I really would love to see Zygu do, which they're not going to do it on this this radio, of course, but on a different, another version of this, if they decide to do another one, is instead of putting a headphone jack on the bottom of the mic, give us a speaker out on the back. That would be awesome. It would also make things a whole lot easier. Um, the only thing I don't have in this shot is this guy here. Coax. $29, $34, $199. And the battery, I believe, was $24. And the cable, another $12. So two... 30, 60, call it 300 bucks altogether. You've got a, a serviceable kit for POTA. Um, of course, you can log as cheaply as you want. I mean, you probably have something in your pocket that you can log on right now. Phone. If you want to go even old school, paper. Paper works great. You just have to type them in later. No big deal. So, quick and easy. Wanted to show you this kit. This is going to be a POTA on a budget uh, kit. You will be seeing it later this summer. I will be using it and I will be will be putting out a video with it. But I wanted to go ahead, go ahead and introduce this setup for you. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along for the ride. If you found anything entertaining, enjoyable, educational, feel free to throw me a like. Subscribe, come along for the rest of the journey. That still sounds really final. I shouldn't say that. Come along for the journey. And again, thanks for watching. 7 3. Zero, one, four.